Hi, Matt from Invarian here. This video will guide you through the latest additions to Rapid Plan Online. First, I'll cover the new Dimension input panel. This is used to specify precise lengths and can be used for most road, marker, and primitive tools. To demonstrate, I'll add a distance marker along this road, marking out where my work zone will be. When I drop the first control point, the input panel will appear in the top left of the canvas area. Once I have entered a distance, the marker will update dynamically on the canvas area. This brings us to our next feature addition, which assists drawing lines and objects in a straight line. I'll demonstrate using this distance marker we have already created. By holding down the shift key on your keyboard, the line will then snap by 15 degree increments. And when you're ready to drop it, just simply left click. If you are using Rapid Plan Online on a tablet, we suggest using a stylus to accurately position your control points. A tutorial on using Rapid Plan Online on mobile devices can be found in the description below. The next addition is the Sign Stand tool. All signs in Rapid Plan Online can now display an adjustable stand icon to specify their exact position and orientation. When a sign is placed on the canvas area, you will now notice an additional sign stand button located underneath the sign when it is selected. To use the sign stand, click and drag the sign stand to the desired position. Once it's placed, a connector will join both signs and stand together. Wherever you place the sign or stand, the connector will follow. To change the size of a sign stand, click the stand and hover over to the properties palette. Here, you can change the size and styling of the stand. Note that any changes you make here will save for the next time you create a sign stand. Multiple signs can also be connected to one stand by dragging the sign stand button onto an existing stand as demonstrated here. We have improved the version control features in this new update as well. To see a plan's history, simply click the Save Status button here in the toolbar. Once selected, a dialog box will appear left of the screen with all of the past edits of your plans. Clicking each timestamp will display the plan at that given time on your canvas area. If you want to restore the plan to a particular timestamp, simply click Restore this version and the page will refresh and display the restored plan. Note that if you open a previous version of a plan, you will still have access to later versions of the document. Alternatively, you can make a copy of a previous version of the plan by clicking this button here. This will then place a new plan in the plans folder in the Invariant Cloud. Just note that it will have the restored suffix on the end of the plan name in the cloud area. The layers palette has also been revamped in our most recent update to make it more user-friendly. The palette has been split into three different sections, print frames, layers, and base map. Print frames show each print frame that is on the current plan. Each print frame can be printed or exported directly from the palette. You can also delete any unwanted print frames. You can hide or show all print frames. This is quite useful when you have a busy plan with lots of objects. You can also change the order of the print frames, and this can be useful when using the multi-page print feature, as you won't need to set the order of the print frames each time you print the plan. The layers option still remains the same. It will show all of the layers of your plan. Base map here lets you change the mapping provider between Google and Mapbox, and also the map type, so whether it's satellite, roads, etc. And also the opacity for the background layer, which can make it easier to see your background objects over your base map. The final addition is specific to Australia. So to demonstrate, I've switched my account to the Australian version of Rapid Plan Online. In this update, we have introduced a new multi-messaging sign editor. To use the editor, 
Simply click the frame design you require and the appropriate signs will appear. Select the desired signs to add them to the multi-message board. Once complete, click OK and then add the MMS to your plan. If it's a sign that you use quite frequently, we recommend adding it to your scratch pad for later use. We hope you find this tutorial useful. If you have any questions or feedback on the new additions, please contact our tech support team.